Hey YouTube, it's one serious kid, and I am about to show you, I mean, I'm about to do a walkthrough of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, and this is a very fun game, 2005, it's really fun, and I'm going to start a new file and show you the game as a walkthrough, so let's get started. It's just, it says really long, really, really long ago, way far out in space, in a dark, dark planet shunned by starlight, there is this creepy planet floating alone. The beings of this world were creepy. Creepy. They spent their time staring creepily into space. Just creepy daydreamers, right? Wrong. They were searching. Searching for a new home. At last, they fixed their creepy gazes on the distant world. A land of beauty and peace. Uh-oh. That's not good. And you start out as the Mario and Luigi babies. It's pretty fun. So let's just get started. And when you come into the Princess Peach's room, the toads will be on the ground. And you'll see Baby Bowser with Baby Peach. And he burns Toadsworth, young Toadsworth, and he faints. And this is kind of like the beginning of S Super Mario and Luigi Superstar Sega, only you have to fight Baby Bowser. So you just jump over his flames and press the X button when you're about to jump on him. And we know how to jump, right? Of course. So we just keep jumping. If you have a minute, baby Luigi and Peach are just sitting there. <sighs> of course we know how to dodge them too. Let's just get on with it. And after quite a few hits, yeah, um, four, five, uh, he'll go Erg Blarg, and you will defeat him. They laugh at him, but then there's something outside. Then, something happens. Then, well, I'll keep their names a secret, but these aliens are attacking. Exactly. I didn't feel that way. Oh, now we're going to the present. Bigger Mario and Luigi are. Professor E. Gad from Luigi's Mansion. Cobalt Star. The place Peach's castle seen by Luigi's near and far. Princess Peach was reportedly overjoyed by the contraption. So overjoyed, in fact, that she promptly set off to a voyage to the Mushroom Kingdom past. Well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Of course, the Warren Church was designed in another flurry. He just had 11. Toadsworth is worrying. <laughs> and at this point in the game, we're going to have to go find him a refresh room. And I'll just switch to this top screen for a minute. 
he talks about the map. And it shows, he, he tells you about the map. He shows you the room in the refresh rooms then. Just tells you about it. And you show the toad how your jumping's going. Then you set off for the refresh uh, room herb. If you see um, a box with a heart on it, it, it restores your HP, so always hit those in need. A save box, box, or a save book, to be honest. And you just travel around the castle. There's a block here with a coin. And just follow the map. Until you get into the refresh room room. Then there'll be this box, and you just hit it. Then you get the refresh room. Then you head back. And if you're wondering, I always save at a save point, so if that takes up too much time, just skip it. And after this, I will be ending the video, but part two will be coming in a little bit, so just after this. Toadsworth is now in a hospital bed, and he is very scared. Toads are scared, too. Since they brought the refresh room, Toadsworth is going to get better. So he gets better. And <laughs> of course he feels better. That's why I was sent to the refresh room. And then, on the top screen, the time machine returns. And when you open it, something that is not Princess Peach will come out. It is actually an alien. And he whacks Toadsworth, and he is now very mad with Mario, so let's just battle him. Now this boss is very fun. He's easier to counterattack, you just have to jump on his... Oh, sorry, I clicked yes. Well, we all know how to jump, don't we? Of course. Well, it just makes us do extra damage to him, so I guess that helps too. This battle will run shortly, too. Oh, I clicked yes again. Oh, well. Oh, I dodged it. Well, I'm gonna have to end it here, so I'll be back soon. Bye, YouTube.